Cities are complex systems. So complex, it's hard to fathom what it takes to build and maintain them. But that's just what architects, engineers, and city planners do every day for cities right here on Earth, like Las Vegas. And cities that someday may be developed extraterrestrially, like a moon colony. Before any building occurs, designers, whether professionals or students, create scale drawings like this. And scale models like this to plan construction and visualize the finished product. Laying out city infrastructure includes the proper placement of city zones, power production and distribution, water access and distribution, sewage, transit, waste management, and telecommunications. It's a complicated process in which many elements must be arranged spatially. In the real world, designers use digital modeling software to create and budget their plans. Some software also allows designers to test a virtual version of their plans prior to construction. Computer plans can't be equal sizes as their analogous counterparts. They wouldn't fit on screen. So design plans are reduced in size or scaled down. The scale is shown on the plans. You too can work with a scale model of a virtual city using SimCity software. But you'll need to know a little bit about SimCity's layout and scale to make sense of your computer city. SimCity's geographic spaces are called regions, and regions are comprised of rectangular cities. There are three city sizes, small, medium, and large. Opening a blank city reveals its underlying tile grid. Each small city is 64 by 64 tiles. Each medium city is 128 by 128 tiles. And each large city is 256 by 256 tiles. The scale of the tile is one side length equals 16 meters. Knowing the dimensions of one tile, along with how many tiles comprise the side of a city, you can compute the dimensions of the city. Then, you can compute the area of the city. Just multiply side length times side length. You may notice that the area of your sim city is actually more comparable to that of a university campus or an amusement park or a moon colony than an actual city. So how well does SimCity represent the size of everyday objects around town? Using the tile scale of one side length equals 16 meters are people, houses, and roads sized reasonably. To figure this out, you'll need to measure each object in terms of tile lengths or fractions of tile length. Here, the width of a two-lane road appears to be approximately half of one tile. Half of 16 meters equals 8 meters, a fairly accurate measurement for an analogous road in the real world. Try measuring and scaling up several other SimCity objects. Are the objects too small, too large, or just right? Then, decide for yourself does SimCity do a good job of scaling the city?